Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we are here to do the second half of October reading for Leo. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Leos. Now, if this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it fit. I do advise that you check your other placements. I'm sure one of them will for Leo. One more shot. Queen shuffle for Leo. Liam, your overall energy for the second half of October, the Eight of Swords, okay? Feeling stuck. Nine of Cups right behind that. Feeling stuck from, like, your wish fulfillment. Like, feeling like you can't have what you truly want, right? With the Two of Wands right behind that, like, having a choice to make. Okay, yeah. What's your energy here in the second half of October? Mm, the tower. Yeah. Scorpio had this. Scorpio energy. Could be done for Scorpio. Mm -hmm. There's a change happening. A sudden shift. The tower represents a sudden change in events. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what happened in the recent past? The star. Major Arcana. You have two Major Arcana here. Okay. So it's about healing. Okay. Maybe you took some time to heal. Maybe you took some time to focus on your desires. The things you wanted. Your wishes being fulfilled. Yeah. What are you thinking about? Judgment. Okay. It says idea at the top. Okay. You're thinking about like. Maybe coming up with a new idea, a new way of doing things. You're thinking. Maybe reviewing something again. The, I, judgment represents uh, like second chances. Okay. Why? Surrender. So this is the hangman energy. Okay. You're in hangman. It says surrender at the bottom. I feel like you are just... Surrendering to whatever spirit has, you know, going on. Whatever the universe has going on. Because with this tower here, this is a sudden change in events. Okay? Notice how we have four major arcana here on the board. If you get six, it's a whole new world. Let's come up in the immediate future. Mm, the emperor. Aries energy. Your fifth major arcana. This is about taking control, okay? It's fire energy, all right? It's about being a leader. What's your advice? The Ace of Pentacles. I do feel like, you know what I'm saying, okay? There's a choice that you need to make, right? Because right now you feel like you're being held back or you're being restricted and you can't have the things that you truly desire in your life your wish is being fulfilled right okay so i feel like spirit is assisting you here in the second half of october god the universe your angels are assisting you with all these major arcana because your advice is to go after this new beginning here this ace of pentacles leah listen let's Clarify your reading. For Leo, second half of October. One more. For Leo. Okay. Okay. Eight of Swords is your overall energy. Feeling stuck, feeling restricted. Like I can't, I can't. The Eight of Swords is self opposed, self imposed, self imposed restriction. Okay. Why is the eight of, okay, look at, look at that. Eight of Swords <laughs> clarified by the Nine of Cups. And what's right behind that Nine of Cups? I mean, the Eight of Swords was the Nine of Cups, right? You feeling like you can't have your wishes, but, you know, fulfilled, All right? With the Four of Swords and the Nine of Wands, this is someone healing from all of what they've experienced in life, 
all of them, all of the negative things that they've encountered, all of the hurdles. Okay, this is someone that has a whole lot of wand, uh, wands, yeah, a whole lot of uh, walls. Okay, because the Knight of Wands represents the wounded warrior. Okay, so this is someone healing from that. Okay, because they feel so restricted, like I can't. Maybe because in the past they had to experience some type of restriction. Okay. Yeah. This is someone desiring with the star energy. Okay. To take action. Okay. To give a love offer with the Knight of Cups. To go out on a date. To send flowers. To have a romantic dinner. Whatever the case may be. The Knight of Cups is a love gesture. Okay. Maybe to someone that they see as an empress. Okay. Yeah, that's Libra and Taurus energy. We got Aquarius energy here as well. With the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah, this is a choice that someone's been holding themselves back from. Yeah. Okay? It's like someone's been holding themselves back from, from love. Yeah. Not doing what's in their best interest because the Queen of Cups represents caring for self. Okay, let's clarify why is this tower here in the current energy for Leo? Why is this tower here? Second half of October, current energy for Leo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tower on the bottom. Okay, tower on the bottom here with the Eight of Cups. This is someone walking away from what's not emotionally serving them, okay? This is someone leaving, okay? And maybe that's happened suddenly because remember, that tower is a sudden change. But they're leaving to go after their happiness, okay? What makes them happy? Because we can see your overall energy is that you feel restricted like you can't have it. Yeah. And with this will of fortune, this is about blessings, good fortune, change, Okay, yeah. Someone is definitely going after what makes them happy. They want a happy future. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune also talks about an abundant future. Change for the future. Yeah. With this Queen of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy, it's like someone's making a decision that's best for them. Making a decision to have this change with clarity. Okay? Tower and the Three of Swords and the Six of Cups. Okay? Maybe because they have been heartbroken in the past. Okay, maybe because they've been heartbroken by a soulmate. Okay, why is the star here in the recent past for Leo? Star for Leo, please clarify. Please make it clear. It's a lot. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, okay, remember the Queen of Cups energy is about caring for self. Someone was slowly going after what they desire, their personal wishes, okay? They were slowly moving, maybe not even moving at all, okay? But this lover's energy, there was a decision that had to be made in the recent past, okay? Making a decision and communicating, Okay, someone communicated some type of decision, you know, some type of, you know, it might have even been exciting communication. All right, yeah, to move forward here with this chariot energy, Cancerian energy, all right, towards the Ten of Cups. It was like, yeah, you know, let's do this, you know, you're my person, let's do this. Like, I have what I desire, I'm going after the person that I want, the love of my life, right? Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles. All right, there was a lot of like maybe like a long term investment there. Okay. Yeah. Sowing seeds for the long haul. Yeah. With the Queen of Pentacles here for stability. Okay. 
definitely could be done for earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. But you, yeah, excitement, made a decision to go after something, go towards your happy ever after. Okay? You made a decision for what you desire. What you're thinking about is judgment. Okay? Why is judgment here is what Leo is thinking about. Judgment for Leo. Five of Wands. And the High Priestess. Okay? So, conflict and interference. So, you're thinking about making a decision maybe, but there's conflict and interference there. The High Priestess says... You know, it's like an inner knowing, but it also represents secrets and stuff. So let's see. Why is judgment here for Leo? That's what Leo is thinking about. Leo, judgment. Mm, death. Okay. Making a decision to end some type of conflict. Raising your consciousness with the strength card. That's your energy, Leo. But the nine of wands is the wounded warrior. Someone that has been through a lot. Okay, it's like someone's raising their consciousness. And with the strength card, they're, because they're raising their consciousness, they're gaining the strength and the bravery. Okay, the courage to end something. Okay, where there could have been like some type of conflict. Okay. All right, and with judgment being there, that's making a decision. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles is that slow moving energy. Okay. Someone could be making a decision to end some type of conflict. Okay. And something that was like conflicting with them moving, moving. Okay. Or making moves. Okay. Because the Four of Cups, so it's like dissatisfaction, boredom. I'm not happy. Right. Five of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Like I'm lonely. I'm dissatisfied. I'm broke. I'm by myself. And I want. To come together and have fun and be happy. Okay. It's like someone is making a decision to put an end to something that has been like nothing but drama with the five of swords. I mean, five of wands. Okay. The five of wands represents drama. Okay. Because with that surrender card being here, I feel like someone's just letting the divine do, do whatever. Okay. It's like, okay, I surrender. I give up. You, you take over. Why is surrender here for Leah? Why is surrender here for Leo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone is definitely surrendering. Okay. Because with this two of pentacles, this is juggling, going back and forth with an idea. Okay juggling two opportunities yeah okay we have the nine of pentacles this is about being single and independent okay and with the seven of cups i feel like someone was worried about that Okay, it was like, I'm worried about like being single and by myself, okay, at one point. But now with that surrender energy, it's like someone's just like, okay, fine, all right? Three of Pentacles is about building, collaboration, cooperation, even like compromise. With this raising consciousness, raising, raising consciousness card, okay, this is like the surrender card. It's like someone is awakening. It's like they're seeing things differently, okay? Yeah. Okay. And with this strength card, Leo energy, it's like you're gathering gathering the strength to like make this decision to have this new beginning. Because with the seven of swords and the five of pentacles and the hermit, you might have experienced some type of situation where you've been like lied to or abandoned and it's made you like pull away from situations. Okay. So it's definitely requiring you to like build your strength to like, you know, make this decision. I feel like that's why you're like just surrendering to the divine. Like, okay, you do it. You know, like divine, you take over because I don't know. But in the immediate future, we have this emperor energy. Why is the emperor here in the immediate future for Leo? Why is the emperor here in the immediate future for Leo? 
Rising Emperor here in the immediate future for Leo. One, two, three, Queen of Wands, that's your energy. Okay. Maybe you're apologizing for past regrets. Okay. You're seeing things differently. Okay. Why is the Emperor here in the immediate future? Maybe someone's apologizing to you. Temperance, okay? That's about harmony, okay? With the Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups. Seeing things differently. Like that Nine of Wands is that wounded warrior energy. Like maybe someone is feeling more balanced. Their guard is no longer up, okay? Emperor. Folio. Emperor for Leo, please. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Emperor, okay? Wanting to come together with that Three of Cups, okay? Wanting to have fun, wanting to enjoy them, enjoy themselves. Okay, have fun, enjoy themselves, whatever. Okay, come together. Okay, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, long term. All right, but that Ten of Wands and the Queen of Cups, Five of Swords. Okay, it's been a lot. Maybe someone is wounded, feeling like, okay, I've been through a lot in love. Okay, Five of Swords on the bottom. Okay, I've been a, through a lot in love. Okay, Mr. Conflicted about making this offer. Okay, it's been heavy on me. Burdened down. Okay. Could be dealing with a water sign. But I definitely feel like someone is just like, okay, I'm ready now. My emotions are balanced here in the immediate future. Your advice is this ace of pentacles. Why is the ace of pentacles here for Leah? Why is the ace of pentacles here for Leah? The two of swords. Okay. You're having having this ace, having this new beginning with this ace of pentacles is justice for the indecisiveness. Okay. Judgment and the harpin. Making a decision for commitment. Why is the ace of pentacles here for Leo? Mm -hmm. The moon. Okay. Fear of being betrayed with the ten of swords okay so someone might have moved on okay or maybe someone's ready to move on from that ace of pentacles yeah someone okay mm -hmm. four swords healing okay healing from that healing from that fear and that indecisiveness about having a new beginning okay because with this queen of cups someone is seeing love and commitment Okay, differently. Okay, this King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, seeing love and commitment differently. Seeing compassion differently. Wanting a commitment, wanting love, wanting a commitment. Okay, with this Ace of Swords, I mean, Eight of Swords, and this Ace of Pentacles, the High Priestess, they felt like they couldn't have a new beginning. Okay, feeling like I'm stuck, I can't have a new beginning because we see that's the overall energy. Okay, yeah, I can't go after my wish fulfillment. I can't have what I desire. Okay, with this high priestess energy, Pisces energy, that is them knowing, them getting the clarity, the intuitive nudge to like go after what they want. They now know that they can. All right, so let's give you some messages here, Leo, from my straight facts oracle deck. For Leo, second half of October.
hopefully, yeah. Okay. It says, surrender to divine timing. Spirit is working behind the scenes. Although that may seem like you're not making progress. No. Yeah. Although it may not seem like you're making progress, release that anxiety and know that you are. All things work in divine timing. Okay. You also get, A, hey, it's a party. Let's go out and have some fun. Time to turn up. Okay. Maybe you're going to go out and have some fun with this person now. Bottom of my deck, it says, my heart hurts. I regret so much for what has happened. That's that Five of Cups energy. All right. Let's get you some more messages from the messages of love. For Leo, second half of October. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> okay. It says, go slow. Take time to get to know each other. Okay? Yeah. And then it says, put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Okay? So making this change, you're safe and divinely guided. Okay? All right. Let's get you a wisdom of... Wisdom of the Oracle. For Leo, second half of October. What message do we have for Leo? Never ending story in reverse with a leg up in reverse on the bottom. Okay, that's number 37, reduces to 10 endings that's that tower all right number 37 here we go all this time i wasn't using my glasses and they right here yeah i know i need them here we go so the never ending story card is about self-criticism the wounded ego and unnecessary dramas but in reverse, it says this. This is a time to avoid drama at all costs, especially when it comes to other people's stuff. Your sensitivity is on overload these days and you're best served by keeping your distance. Your mantra today is, not my circus, not my monkeys. All this drama will pass and you will carry on unscathed and blameless okay yeah all this drama will leave and you will not be a part of it okay not my circus not my monkeys okay it's not true it's not don't let this restrict you okay so that's what i have for you should i hope this helped and i look forward to seeing you guys soon it's not not yours don't let this, don't curry. That's what this tower is for. Blow it up. Natural circus, natural monkeys. I miss you guys already. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.